Oh, yes, 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 yes. Mm -mm -mm. And then he says that the kingdom of heaven, no, number three slide. He says, where is the kingdom of heaven? The kingdom of heaven is a place or a location where God the Father abides or lives. Let, let, let's read it together. The key, the, the, the kingdom of heaven, let's read it together. The kingdom of heaven is a place or a location where God the Father abides or where he lives. So here, God the Father is giving you the keys to the place where he abides and the place where he lives. Why? I don't have any call into any witch's coven. Somebody say, uh-huh. I, I don't have any call over there in Sister Sally Sue's uh, coven so she could read my palm. Somebody say, uh-huh. When I've got the keys to the kingdom of God, somebody say, uh-huh. Hey, somebody say, I got keys. I got keys. I don't want somebody piece of old dry out rabbit's foot because I got what? You got to help me preach this morning. Somebody say, I got keys. When we do not know what we have access to, that's when we go over on the other side of darkness to mess up our minds, our psyche, and the preacher man. And then when you see preachers fall, you want to know what happened. Because the folks up in the house, they mess with so much stuff that even didn't pack the man of God or woman of God. I can't hear the house up in here. So, but when we all know about what's happening up in the kingdom of God, that we have access to the place where God resides, where he lives, where he abides, oh, we got the keys. Oh, somebody show us I got the keys. You got the keys to where Papa is living. I got the keys. Come, let's bring it on the natural. Your dad, your, you know your dad. Huh? He has a storehouse, and you know that he has some um, wood that you're building your house, and he has some blocks that the blood's left over, and some shutters and everything. And then you, you come up and say, here, God, we take the keys. You catch the keys. I, but dad, you always say, I can go in the storeroom, yes. Whatever you, wh whatever you want, just go and open and take. Somebody say, uh-huh. So you walk in boldly, you're not looking over your shoulder because you're not stealing. You just open up the stuff, use your key. Ask somebody, say, uh-huh. Touch somebody, say, it's time to use the key that your father has given to you. Woo, I hope I could preach this as I want. Somebody say, come on, use, 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 use. Enter into the storeroom and put it inside there and turn it, hallelujah. And just don't put, do, act like a robber, but start taking stuff out. Ask somebody, say, hallelujah. Woo! Tell somebody, come on, tell somebody, say, start taking stuff out. Because he has given you keys to the kingdom. Woo! Somebody say, hallelujah. My God. Mm. So, yeah, 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 yeah. And he says, and I will give unto thee, in Matthew 16, 19, the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Woo! You got access. Somebody say, I got access. And it says in Romans 14 and verse 17, we looked at the, the Bible definition last week, but I just want to bring it back to you. And it says that this is the secret for living in the kingdom of God. Touch somebody and say, this is a kingdom secret. One more time, tell them this is kingdom secrets here. And it says, here what it says, in the definition of the kingdom, the Bible definition, in the Bible definition of the kingdom, there is a secret for living in the kingdom of God. Romans 14, 17, mark it in your Bible. It says, for the kingdom of God is not, read with me, for the what? For the kingdom of God, read with emphasis, for the kingdom of God is not what? Meat and drink, but is what? Righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. In the kingdom of God, there is a key. Everybody say there's a key. For my righteousness, for my right standing with God. You see, God has to declare you righteous, justified. Ah, somebody say hallelujah. Sanctified. You don't have to work for that stuff. In the kingdom, when you make the entrance into the kingdom and you open your mouth and, and give Jesus access, he declares you righteous. So in the kingdom of God, there is a key for your righteousness. Uh -huh. So if you lost the key to your righteousness, you need to come back to him. Jesus, somebody shout Jesus so you can get access, free access to your righteousness, somebody say hallelujah the kingdom of God, somebody shout righteousness the kingdom of God is peace so if you're losing out on your peace and as a son and daughter of God you're always in, uh, being tortured by the enemy always sick, disgusted and sorry and sorry you need a checkup with your peace or oh, somebody say I need a peace checkup 
You need to make a connection again. The connection, so I say connection. You need to make a connection with who? With Jesus, who is the what? The Prince of Peace. Ah, somebody say hallelujah. Somebody shout Prince of Peace. And it says, uh, also another key to the, your joy, your physical, natural, spiritual joy, is that you want to get some of that joy, joy in the Holy Ghost. Somebody say, aha. Uh -huh. I don't know if some of you have been around in those uh, old, um, you call, they used to call them Holy Roller Church. In those churches, the pastors never used to counsel nobody. Oh yes, uh, and some of them used to have problems at home. Somebody said problems. Uh, some of them sisters have to go home to their drunken, swearing husband uh, on crack cocaine. I can't hear you. Uh, they got to go inside that bed uh, where he's breathing out alcohol. Uh, but before they went home, they had a nice tarry meeting. <laughs> some of you ain't know about that one. Uh, they move up a few benches and a few chairs and everybody move. Uh, and everybody said, I wonder what I'm just